Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert dates that is in text format into a date that is in, in the numeric value format. The reason why I know this particular uh, set of values here, this range of dates, are in a text format is it's aligned to the left. You can see that this is aligned to the left. And I can't really perform any calculations on these dates if I wanted to. Now what I mean by that, let's say for example I have a date here, 1-1-2018. Press enter. Let's expand this column a little bit. And you'll notice that it's aligned to the right. Excel recognizes that that date is a number. That's how Excel really sees dates. If I press control one, you'll notice if I go to general, Excel sees that particular date, January 1st, 2018, as 43101. Right? So it can perform calculations on that. If I want to do a calculation, let's say I want to add the number one here it's going to make it from January 1, 1, 2018 to January 2, 2018. I can't do the same thing for this one. If I add uh, the number 1 to that, I'm going to get an error, right? So how do I take this particular text date and turn it into a number format where I can perform calculations? Let's delete this column, right click, uh, delete. We're going to use Power Query to do that. You can notice that in Excel there's many ways to do the same thing. You can do this with other capabilities like text columns or flash fill. But in this particular video, we'll show you how to do it using Power Query. Now, Power Query is available in Excel 2016 under the uh, Data tab on the ribbon. On 2013 and 2010, it's also available, but you have to download it and enable it. Since I have 2016, let's show you how to do it here. Now, I go into Data, and I'm going to select from Table. And what it's going to do and it's going to figure out that this range of data is not in a table format and it's going to ask you to create a table. So my table has headers, the first row is a text field, header field. I'm going to click OK. It's going to come up with the Power Query editor window. You'll notice that Power Query was actually pretty smart and it figured it out because it changed the type. You can see that we have our applied steps here. The first step it did is it pulled in the source information, right? It pulled in that text date and it changed the type. It changed the type of uh, data here from a text to a date. And all I need to do now is just uh, close and load, and it's going to bring back another sheet here. And these are uh, dates that are actually, let me expand it. These are dates that actually are things you can perform calculations on, right? So I can uh, make this and add a one. All right, let me add it up, and it has added one to that. Let's delete that. Right click, uh, delete. Let's throw a curveball into Power Query, and because these are all 2018, let's make that last one 2017, right? And let's refresh this data, and let's see what happens. Right click, all right, and let's refresh this. All right, we can click on that little refresh icon, and you'll notice that that one's gone. Power Query wasn't able to figure that one out. So let's go back into the Power Query editor and see what we can do. And you right click, go under edit, and bring back the editor. Now let's see what we can do. Now it couldn't figure that one out, so let's uh, delete that step. This is kind of like Control Z. It would just delete that step. And let's see if we can use other capabilities in Power Query. Now one, one of the capabilities that we can use is we can add a column. And this is adding a column from examples. Uh, this is very similar to the flash fill feature in Excel. Um, this is called. This uses the concept of programming by example. So I'm going to click on this. Click on the drop down here. Whoops. Let me show you some examples here. Let's click on the drop down here. You can see you have from all columns and from selection. If this is a multi-column table, there's more columns here. Uh, we can we can select all the columns, or if we wanted to do our um, example from just one column, you can just use select it and choose from selection. Since this is a one column table, it doesn't really matter when I, what I use. I'm just going to select all columns. And one thing you'll also notice if I hover over this, you can use the keyboard shortcut control E to do that, right? But let's see if we can give it some examples and have Excel, a Power Query, pull out something for us. So we type February, let's, maybe that doesn't work. Let's do the number format. Uh, two, and we can see, oh, here's here's a, here's a date. These icons represent the date. So let's look at this one. 
double click that and we can use control enter to apply so I just press control enter and let's see if it picked up the last one down there no it didn't pick out the last one down there but you can see that it picked out the other ones so this is something that we can do if we had all this at 2018 right let's see if we can pick out some other things let's delete this maybe we'll pick out February we'll do February press control enter maybe that's okay click OK we'll pull February out and maybe we'll pull out uh, the 11th let's make this a little wider let's pull out the 11th let's do control E to do another example let's do the 11th the day control E enter and we'll pull out the days can we pull out the day from here no give that wouldn't even give us an error so let's go back cancel and let's see what that tells it we, we don't if we click on the error it's going to and basically it's drilled down to the error let's undo that and if we click on the white space here tell us what kind of error we have it, it couldn't pull it out so let's try something else let's try control E and we'll pull out maybe we can try it from the bottom right I always try to work we, we can try different things here April and press control E and see if it picks it up and it did so it's kind of strange that way when you think about how it did that we went from the bottom up instead of from the top down click OK and when we think about it doing it that way maybe we can try it from the bottom up to bring back that date so let's click that control E and instead of going from top down let's go from bottom up so we'll go from bottom up uh, type in the number April is the fourth month that didn't work it only picked up that, that so let's just do April here and we'll try it another way control enter we've got that and let's bring in control E to do the column from example let's go from the bottom and we'll do 27 here and see if it picks it up yes it picks up everything else and it's going to create another column here for us and let's try control E and to bring out the year now right control E and let's bring out the year let's try from here 2017 control enter we have our year All right so we've got that set up let's see if we can change this into dates so we do that as a date no all right let's undo that maybe what we can do is we can combine it all together so I will take this column right click remove so let's see if I can merge my columns together I'm gonna select that column let's see press the shift key and select the last column and merge my columns all right so I will merge them and maybe I'll just choose a delimiter type my separator a custom separator and I'll just merge them with a dash click OK and now that's the merge column you can see it's text I can probably change that to a date now let's see what happens it changed that all to a date let's right click and remove other columns and now I can go to home close and load and it will show up here right I've got my date now this is an actual date and that was actually a lot of steps and that was that was just an example using the um, column by example there's another way that we can do it here uh, if we still have that particular problem there and I'll show you that there's this other way that we can do it and we can use a set of steps that is kind of similar to the text to columns feature let's edit this in Excel so if we go to Power Query and we'll remove all these extra steps let's remove these steps whoops cancel let's remove this step and let's see if we have a separation so what we want to do is we want to split uh, this column I'm going to go to split column and by delimiter and I noticed my delimiters here are spaces so we're going to say spaces at each occurrence click OK 
and I have my spaces here. And all, all I need to do is keep it, keep these columns. Uh, the February 11th, 2018. Select that. Press Shift and select that to multi-select. Right click, remove other columns. So we can do the same thing we had here earlier. We had our three columns, right? So I can select that, go to transform, or I can right click. I think there's a merge option here. Yep, merge columns. And I can just merge them the same way I did earlier and adding a dash, All right? Click OK and turn this into a date. And that worked. We have 2017 here, close and load. And now I have the same thing that I had earlier. A couple few, fewer steps there. So uh, that's the other way we can do it, probably a shorter way. But I just kind of wanted to show the capabilities of Power Query. You see that we have our first option where we can use this fancy new feature called adding a column by example, where we can do that. Or we have the option of splitting values as we split through the spaces there at the first example, and then combining the columns that we wanted uh, back into a kind of a date format, and then changing it into a date. So that's how we can convert dates using the Power Query feature. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.